This is Honors Geometry Lesson 5.6, Inequality in Two Triangles. In Lesson 5.5, we talked about inequalities within a single triangle. Now we're going to talk about what happens if you have two triangles. And the only way this works is if you have two congruent sides. So if you have two sticks and your friend has two sticks with the same length, if you open yours up, say, 88 degrees, and your friend makes an angle of, say, only 35 degrees, you're going to need a larger stick to close up your triangle than your friend will. That's called the hinge theorem. Officially, it says, if two sides of one triangle are congruent to two sides of another triangle, and the included angle of the first that's yours, is larger than the included angle of the second, that's your friend's, then the third side of the first is longer than the first side of the second, which makes sense. So in this diagram, we can see the first angle is open to 88 degrees, the second angle is only open 35 degrees, therefore we can assume that segment WX is greater than segment ST. The converse is also true. So if you need a larger stick to close up your triangle than your friend does, then you know they open their, um, their angle wider than you have in yours. It says, if two sides of one triangle are congruent to two sides of another triangle, again, that's the only way it works, and the third side of the first is longer than the third side of the second, then the included angle of the first is larger than the included angle of the second. And that, again, is the converse of the hinge theorem. So again, you have to look for that two congruent sides. You look for your hinge. Your hinge is right here. And this one, they needed a 12 length segment to close it up. This one only needed a nine length segment to close up their triangle. Therefore, we can assume that the measure of angle C has to be greater than the measure of angle F. Let's practice a couple problems. Okay, we need to put a less than, a greater than, or an equal to symbol in their statement. Okay, the first thing you want to do is find your hinge. You have to have a hinge. You have to have two congruent sides or this doesn't work. So you can see they give us one congruent side in the first example, and they share the middle. So boom, there we have our hinge. Our hinge is right up here, B. So on this one, it's open 36 degrees. The second one is only open 32 degrees. So therefore, we know segment AD must be greater than segment CD. Okay, so here we go. These are two separate triangles, and we have two congruent sides. This one's only opened 114. This one's opened 123. So we know that MN must be less than LK because this one's open 114, and this one is open 123. We know 114 is less than 123. Okay. And again, here's our hinge. Look for those two congruent sides. This one's open 22, this one's open 24. So we know that TR is gonna be less than, because TR represents the 22 angle, this one's the 24, it's less than. Now we're gonna do the converse. So we have our two congruent sides, here's our hinge. This one's open 13, this one's open 14. We know 13 is less than 14, so we know angle one has to be less than angle two. Okay, here's our hinge. We have our two congruent sides, and they're both across from the same line segment. So that must mean that they're open the same amount, so these two would be equal. And one last time, they share the center, so there's our hinge. This one's across from 39, this one's across from 42. We have 42, we have 39, and we know 42 is greater than 39, so angle one must be greater than angle two. Let's throw a little algebra in here. Okay, again, your job is to find the hinge. So you have a 12 and a 12, and they share the middle, so we know this is our hinge. This one's across from a 13, this one's across from a 15. We know 13 is less than 15. So we know that 2x plus 5, that's the measure of our angle, is less than 66. Subtract 5 from each side. Divide each side by 2. It looks like x is less than 30.5 degrees. Okay, let's try another one. 
Okay, find our hinge. We have a three and a three, and they share the middle. So this is our one angle, this is our other angle, and um, we're gonna have to find the missing angle here. It appears to be less than 110, but just in case, we're gonna take the 102 plus the 27, subtract that from 180, 51 sound right? Yep, okay. So we know this angle is 51. We know this angle is 110. Those are our two hinges. We looked for the hinge. So we know that 110 is greater than 51. So we're going to say that the side across from it, whoops, the side across from it, which is the 3x plus 2, has to be greater than the side across from the 51, which is x plus 3. Subtract x from each side. Subtract 2 from each side. Divide each side by 2. And it looks like x has to be greater than 1 half. All right, let's try one more. And here we go. Let's find our hinge. They share the middle. And we have two congruent sides, so we can consider this our hinge and this our hinge, or we can consider those our hinge. But because um, we have information across from these two, I'm going to consider that our hinge. We have a single and a double, a single and a double, that a hinge is here and a hinge is here. Um, we can see this is obtuse, that's acute. So we're going to say, we're going to say that 4x minus 3 is greater than 2x. We're going to subtract 4x from each side. We're going to divide each side by negative 2. And, and you remember that when you divide by negative, you have to flip your sign. <coughs> excuse me and so our final statement I'm gonna flip this around so it looks a little bit better X is greater than three halves please try the practice problems let me know if you have any questions thank you